Today we are going to talk about very very basic matter related to organic chemistry and we are starting with hydrocarbon. What is it exactly? A compound made up of hydrogen and carbon is called hydrocarbon. Very simple definition. It is of two types. One is called saturated hydrocarbon and another is called unsaturated hydrocarbon. Now, what is saturated hydrocarbon? A hydrocarbon in which carbon atoms are connected by means of single bond is called saturated hydrocarbon. And I want to show you this with the help of the bone. Look at this. This is a saturated hydrocarbon because two carbon atoms are present in this compound and they are connected by means of single bond. In the same way here, three carbon atoms are connected with each other by means of single bond. Here four are connected by single bond and here five are connected by single bond. There are hundreds of hydrocarbons. If the carbon atoms are connected by means of single bond, then we'll say that is saturated hydrocarbon. Now next, unsaturated hydrocarbon. What is it? A hydrocarbon in which two carbon atoms are connected by a double bone or maybe triple bone is called unsaturated hydrocarbon. Let's go through the structural formula. We can see the bone also. Here we have two carbon atoms and they are connected by means of double bone. Here we have three carbon atoms. Two of them are connected by means of double bone. This is also unsaturated hydrocarbon. And here two are connected by means of triple bond. Here also among four, two are connected by means of triple bond. If carbon atoms are connected by means of double or triple bond, then that is called unsaturated hydrocarbon. Okay, today's focus is on alkane. We are going to study about one of the basic hydrocarbon, very simple hydrocarbon, alkane. What is it exactly? An alkane is a saturated hydrocarbon in which carbon atoms are connected by only single covalent bond. For example, ethane, butane, etc. It means alkanes are saturated hydrocarbon. Now, let's talk in detail about the alkane. I want to tell you the naming of the alkane with the help of prefix and suffix. Prefix is the first part, first part of the word and suffix is the second part of the word. These two are combined to name alkane. Now, how they are combined? Meet prefix says that in this compound, only one carbon atom is present. And the suffix A and E says that this is alkane. And the name of the compound becomes methane. Methane is an alkane in which one carbon atom is present. And in the same way, it means two. If it has a any suffix, then it forms the name ethane. It means ethane has got two carbon atoms in its molecule. In the same way, prop means three. Propane means alkane having three carbon atoms and but means four. Paint means five, or methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane says that in methane, one carbon atom, ethane, two, propane, three carbon atom, butane, four, and pentane, five. We'll, we'll talk about hydrogen also later. But let's go up to 10. Prefix hex means six carbon atoms. Hexane contains six carbon atoms, heptane, seven, octane. Uh, 8, nonin, 9 and decane contains 10 carbon atoms. These are the name of the alkane. Methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonin and decane. Now let's talk about their uh, molecular formula. Now how can we write their molecular formula with the help of a general formula? This is general formula for alkane group. Number of uh, carbon atom is if n then hydrogen will be two times n plus two we can find the molecular formula of all the alkanes with the help of this general formula like this methane we know that meth means one and it has got one carbon atoms and using this general formula in place of n if we take one then hydrogen becomes four and that's why molecular formula of methane will be CH4. 
in the same way ethane means this is an alkane having two carbon atoms that's why using this general formula the molecular formula of ethane becomes c2h6 and for propane using the same formula in place of n we are writing 3 and we'll get c3 h8 and have you noticed this in each case as we go down the second compound preceding compound is differing by ch2 group if we compare methane with ethane then methane contains one carbon atom ethane contains two one carbon atom is more and methane contains four hydrogen atoms but uh, ethane contains six two hydrogen atoms are more it means it is differing by ch2 group and this one ethane and propane if compared again propane is differing by ch2 with ethane that's why each of the preceding one is differing by ch2 if you notice this then you can write other also propane if you are writing c3 as it then for butane you can write c4 as 10 have you noticed here also ch2 group greater and we can remember very easily this way also how many carbon atoms are present in particular alkane the hydrogen will be double plus two look at this pentane c5 s12 hexane c6 s14 heptane octane nonane decane these are the molecular formula if you have to find out particular molecular formula just for example heptane hepta means what carbon is seven and uh, in case of alkane hydrogen number of hydrogen will be double plus two two n plus two that's why 7 to the 14 plus 2 becomes 6, 16. This way we can declare the molecular formula of heptane. This way we can write molecular formula of alkane also. Let's talk about their molecular structure. This is the molecular structure of methane. Carbon has four valency. It means it has four bonds. And uh, alkane is the compound formed by the combination of carbon and hydrogen that's why four hydrogen atom combines with one carbon atom which can be represented like this there's four bone for carbon and single bone for hydrogen look at this another one ethane we have two carbon atoms you eth means two and we have to uh, connect these two carbon atoms with hydrogen in such a way that carbon has four bone and each of the hydrogen has got only one bone after this look at this propane three prop means three three carbon atoms are connected with the hydrogen atoms by single bone in the same way butane pentane we can write the structural formula of each of them this is a little uh, introduction about the alkane we'll continue the another class also in which we'll talk about alkene and then all kind okay this much for today